And that's a wrap, guys. We got at least one bag, and that bag is full of goodies. Some booze, not very good booze either. <laughs> Crack rocks. No, all right, we're good. Yeah. What? Well, no. I know you can't find your tree. I don't want to catch it. It don't look that bad. How much is that one? Bottom one? 300. Keep you warm. Keep All right, thank you. Too expensive. <clears throat> Nothing. Did you bring them baseball cards? No. Oh, oh damn you. I'm sorry, Mike. It's I'll all good. Them next week. All right. 125. I didn't really get a chance to film that one, but. Bought this full bag. What a find of turtles. Yeah, thank you. I appreciate that. Forty. Let's see if we could find Picker's Warehouse and sell it to the event right now. Can you see, and this says sterling on it somewhere? It would we'll be near the class. Oh, it says 925, I think, on the class. It does? I mm -hmm. played it though. It's pretty. This is it Mexico. <laughs> Alright, Quantos? Give me a piece of whatever it is for you. Oh, thank you. Do you maybe like a little bag? Mm. Poquito? So you go to Jordan, you gotta look for the variant. No, you don't. Yeah, you do it with Jordan. It's not the variant. I'd say uh, 10 bucks, 10 bucks, five. Is it? Yeah. Paid 40 for all right, well, so far, Justin has me a little disappointed in this purchase of Ninja Turtles, but, you know, Justin's not always right. That's what I say. Oh, don't ever let anybody discourage you from the value, and you're fine. Right? Yep. It's a print. That would be nice if it was real. It's a million-dollar painting. Any diamonds? No. no. Just on my finger. No. <laughs> you see it? Good. Yeah, that's right. What do you want on them? Uh, $2.
Yeah. Not really. I'm gonna try the cards. Which one? Just in general. Which one card? How much were they? Which one? The all, box? All those cards, yeah. Yeah, yeah give me $40. Huh? $40 for that. For that box. Mm, got them all messed up. Is that all you have? How much did you say? $40 for that box. This box actually, be whether or not, is worth good money. It doesn't come with that case or that pack, that page there? Yeah. Sweet, thank you. I have some magic cards and Pokemon cards. Yeah, I think you had them last week, right? The new ones? Yeah. Or did you get some different ones? How much you say the bag was? What? Huh? 60? Yeah, it's right now, Bob. Hey. Check it out. Is it real? Yeah. Looks real. Vintage. Like Definitely it. vintage. Huh? Definitely vintage. Oh, uh, that's real. No. went all the way down there. 60? Yeah. Look at all this. I wanted 150, but I I'll go 60. I'll go 60. I appreciate it. Help me feed my family. It's I old. got this nice powder bag too. This actually this vinyl is a real good. Do you have change? Oh, no, I have money. Sorry. Yeah, put all that in there. In the chair too. Yeah, why not? Put hey, thank you. Have a good day. You take care of that. Oh, well, that's me. And another one too, the Pirates of the Caribbean. Uh, 20 pieces for 60. And then and then uh, they're going to try it out and go from there. You want to swap your two with two of these? Okay, so she'll take care of you guys. Okay. Look at all this neat stuff. Look at these. Wow, can you feel that? Can you imagine wearing that on your boot? Just the money. That's the money. 
let's see what we got here. Uh, 32. They're all 32? They're all, uh, those. That one's weird looking. So. Alright, my friend, thank you. Okay, can, can I see thank them? you. And they're, are they all the same price? Yeah, 32. Alright. How much is that one? Let me put it back first if you're done. I'm going to get these. You're going to get this. This I'll, one here? Yeah, I'll pay you now. Sure. So we got one, two, three, four. Uh, let's see. The problem. Can you explain what you have in your hand? Hold on. What do I have in my hand? Yeah. I have a Louis Vuitton wait, 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 that right. Harold is trying to say is fake, so I almost fought him just now. No, it's not. I've sold a small one like this. I know. Exactly what it's exactly what like. he's like. Well, it's cut off. This is old Louis Vuitton. This is before they got fussy. Single stitch. There's no overlap. They didn't make. Uh, I've authenticated these before. Yeah. And it, this is exactly what it looks like when it wears. Look how big it is. You can fit a human yeah. body in here if you need to. Like so what quick... that is is a it's a full size pop of court hot. Mm -hmm. That's what the lady said she can tell. It's, it's a, a pop of court hot. I sold a small one. Be worse than this for 300 bucks. Yeah. A the lady G. over here just offered me 300 and one yeah. selling knockoff shoes. That might be a G. I feel comfortable with my day's purchases. Mm. We got at least one bag, and that bag is full of goodies. Lots of games. That's it. I, was, I saw Pokemon. I was thinking cards. Flea market party. You guys follow me? You guys stalking me? Pretty good day pick, and I can't remember off the top of my head everything I got. I know I got the bag for 60 Louis Vuitton. We got several silver dollars. Just picked up one last minute just now for 20 bucks. I don't even know if I got that on film, but I got another one for 20 bucks. So I think I got five or six of those. Actually, I bought. So I'll I'll do a recap when I get home. Show you everything. Lay it out. So this is a good bag. I I don't know what the value is. It's old and big. We're going to have to have that looked at or looked up. These are pretty tight. They're not the best of shape, but they're freaking old. Some of these are just, they're good cards. Let's see what year these are. 1975. I don't know what year that is. I just had to have them. I think I paid 40 bucks for that. Mainly because of these. This is was underestimated. What are these? 1976. I don't know what's in here. They're not... I'm not saying that these are the best. I'm going to look through and see if we see anybody. We'll go through these real quick. But you can see the difference in age between a 70s, a 60s. These are more like 80s right here. Yeah. I think that this is a good buy. There's a lot of cards in here from the 70s. I'll probably put these up on one or two lots on my auction. We got a lot of the same cards. Isn't that weird? That would have been a good card. 1971. Old is good. And you got this new little set here. Some rookies, we'll go through that probably in the auction. Here's some old ones, not that one, but here's a snow. Nope, those are only 82. And it's a little old, but okay. Here we go, those are nice. Here we got Chris Collins. With, oh, so he has them all by bank by the, the teams. Kinda. Of. 
eagles. Somebody out there likes eagles. Bears. Ricky Watts. No Walter Paytons, though. Sadly. Phil Conklin. 82. Kevin Butler. Earl Cooper. Oh, I thought that was Joe Montana's rookie. I would say that I find two Joe Montana rookies in two days. Well, I did find up on two yesterday if you missed that video. This one's kind of cool, but it's messed up. That's messed up because this one was a pretty decent card, I think. Old, but it's warped. Redskins. Joe Clico again. Anyway, that's adjusted, but we'll, we'll continue on. We'll continue on. You'll see a lot of these on the auction. I think this was a good buy for 40 bucks for all these cards. In my opinion. In my opinion. But what do I know? I'm just a pirate. 1968, 1968, and 1969 proof sets. Those are cool. Don't get me wrong. Those are 40% silver. Then I got this coin here. Paid 50 for that. Genuine Morgan dollar. Guaranteed. It's an O. That's a good one. Then we got this one right here. An 1880P. Then we have... Let's take our stickers off here. That's always wise to do. Another 1880p. We have another 1880p. This one doesn't even have a mint mark in it. But it says P. Interesting. 1880. Oh, you know why? Because there's no mark means Philadelphia. Duh. I see what it is. So we got four of those. Then we have this set here. We paid 100 for just because it's silver. I mean, that's a good set. There's four ounces of silver total right there. They're Olympics. I like that set. That wasn't bad. We paid, uh, I think, 32 each on those. 25. He did give us a little bit of a discount. We got a handful of these pins right here. These are kind of cool. We got 10 of those. I think I paid 60 on those. And the reason why is I want to see how well they are because the guy has like 8,000 of them or he wants 8,000 for thousands of them. Maybe he'd make me a deal. But I got to see how well I can do on those before I can even think about that. And I think that's, I think that's everything I got. Oh, then we have the bag of eight, 1980... 8, 90s, and 92s of Ninja Turtles. We paid 40 bucks on that bag. And then we bought this right here as well for 50 bucks. All this sterling silver, several pieces. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 rings, 3 pendants, and a dolphin's necklace. But that's good. That's a good price of my eyes for 50 bucks. And that is everything that I spent. Let's see what that was. Let's total that up. What I'm counting here, which was 40 50, 60, 40, 300, 20, and 60 comes to 570 bucks. Legit, honestly, in my opinion, what I personally believe is that this bag right here will potentially get me more than what I paid for everything here. That's a job well done. Picking ain't easy, but it could be rewarding. That's why I get up every Saturday and Sunday morning and I go out there and I do these things. I go and hunt and I look for other storage buyers doing the same thing, et cetera, et cetera. I'm not a bargainer. Like it's, I ask you what, what you want to pay for it, what you want to sell it for. And I say yes or no. And that I pretty much buy it or don't, but it always works out. I'm, I think I've been doing pretty good. Anyway, if you like the video, hit the thumbs up, comment, let me know if you want me to keep doing these. And also don't get the share button and say something pretty like picking ain't easy.